How's everyone doing? Today I'm going to be doing a beer review for DDH Insane in the Grain from Cypress Brewing Company. And if you've had DDH Insane in the Grain from Cypress Brewing Company, definitely let me know what you think of it. And let me know what your favorite Imperial IPA is. And this is DDH All Citra Imperial IPA. Right there, you can see at the top. And then you've got the really awesome logo right there, Insane in the grain, very eye-catching and appealing label. With the skull and then the grains in there. And this is from Cypress Brewing Company, which is in Edison, New Jersey, which is right down the street from me. So that is pretty cool. This is a local brewery. And it's Indian Pale Ale. This is one pint and it's 8.3 uh, alcohol by volume and 60 IBUs. And I'm excited to try this one. I've tried the regular uh, Insane in the Grain. And this is gonna be the DDH version right here. And DDH is double dry hopped. And this is marketed as a New England IPA. And it's dry hopped with uh, citra at over five pounds per barrel. And it's $15 for a four pack. Let's go ahead and open this up. And I've got my glass here. Let's go ahead and pour it out. Very aromatic. I can already smell it in the air as soon as I open the can. And started to pour it but uh there you go it almost has an orange juice type look to it kind of a hazy uh golden amber color very murky uh nearly opaque and uh, about a finger of off-white creamy head some nice lacing right there all right let's go ahead and smell it yeah, you get those uh, citrus notes up there. You get the floral, piney, resinous hops just smacking the nose. Again, very aromatic. But let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers. Wow. That is sneaky drinkable. Uh, juicy, just full of flavor. Uh, you get a lot of the tropical fruit notes going on there. You get grapefruit, uh, tangerine, peach, pineapple, orange, lemon. And again, you get those floral, piney, resinous hops, uh, which are present all throughout, but they come out even more on the back end. You get some of the caramel malts, uh, a little bit of toastiness going on there. It's creamy, clean, and again, surprisingly drinkable uh, for the ABV. It's not overly boozy. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly bitter. While it is uh, hop forward, it is very well balanced. It's so fresh and juicy and hoppy. Uh, those notes all linger on your tongue long after the finish. It goes down smooth and easy, creamy thick mouthfeel, semi-dry finish, uh, medium bodied, decent carbonation and high drinkability factor here. Again, the ABV kind of sneaks up on you because uh, you can drink some of it. You don't really notice the, the booziness of it. Uh, then it comes out a little bit more in the back end, but it's uh, more of a subtleness. And I definitely think this is an improvement on their uh, regular Insane in the Grain from Cypress Brewing Company. I think um, the extra dry hopping of the hops and all the citra just really works well. And it's surprisingly well balanced. This is an excellent double IPA. This is an incredible release from Cypress Brewing Company. They did an excellent job here. I can't wait to see what they do in the future. And I am definitely looking forward to picking up more of this DDH Insane in the Grain. And this definitely makes me want to break out into song as well with Cypress Hell. Insane in the membrane, insane got no rain. Uh, that was classic back in the day when I was younger. <laughs> DDH Insane in the Grain from Cypress Brewing Company gets my highest recommendation. I would highly recommend it. And I give it a 9.5 out of 10 stars. And if you've had DDH insane in the grain definitely let me know what you think of it and let me know what your favorite imperial ipa is leave me a comment or video response down below hope everyone's doing well take care